I'm here to talk to you today about the internationally innovative researches in the Illawarra are leading. We've been doing this research for over 10 years, and we now have robust evidence about the untapped potential of nurses to reduce the effects of delirium and prevent the distress it causes older people and their families. Some of, some of you might not know what delirium is, but as I begin to describe it, I'm sure it will feel familiar. Delirium is most often happens to young children and older people. Delirium can be misdiagnosed as dementia, but delirium is different. If we diagnose delirium, delirium can be successfully treated. <laughs> My focus on improving the lives of older people and their families began over 30 years ago in my first staff nurse role. And my research career began when I graduated with my PhD in Edinburgh. Fast forward, and 13 years ago, the Rainbow Laura Keats and North Gong Beach brought me to UOW. As well as an ambition to create a research-intensive school of nursing. We've certainly achieved that, and within our Aged and Dementia Health Education Research Group, we have a terrific team of clinical practitioners and academics making a difference in aged care. And our research has been replicated in North America, Taiwan, and across the UK. We have a genuinely collaborative approach, and that's what enables us to make a difference. I'm especially delighted to be presenting my research in the middle of the World Health Organization Nursing Now campaign, focused on improving health worldwide by profiling the role of nursing. Our nursing leaders have generated evidence that employing more nurses can reduce errors and improve patient outcomes. And our research in delirium care has demonstrated the untapped potential of nurses to reduce the hospital costs of delirium and improve patient outcomes. Delirium care is an important topic to focus on in, in older people. Over half of all older people who are admitted to hospital experience a delirium. My own personal experience of delirium is when my mum arrives from her long-haul flight. I have to say those economy seats have a lot to answer for. My mum needs motivated to get out and about. She does things in the wrong order. She can't make choices about anything and gets very grumpy. It takes her a week or so to get back to her usual energetic self. The consequences of an undiagnosed delirium can be dire. Delirium delays recovery, increases treatment costs, and it, it increases the risk of an older person moving into a nursing home and it can even cause their death. The common causes of delirium are an untreated infection, dehydration, the wrong medication, or a complication after surgery. These are all the classic domains of good nursing practice. And that's why our research has been successful, because we are empowering nurses to do what they do best. What's unique about our research is that we are enabling nurses to bring about real change that policy and education on their own can't achieve. The research we are doing is a nurse-led intervention that's embedding evidence-based practice into the everyday care of older people. When we start our research, we work with nurses, alongside nurses, for about um, a few, over several months, we provide opportunities for the nurses to learn new ways of diagnosing delirium. We provide education about delirium, but more importantly, we empower nurses to reflect on their existing knowledge and skills and discover new ways to improve patient outcomes. When we start a new phase of our research, we work with specialist local nurses to tailor-made tailor -made the education that we'll deliver in their ward. And we re recruit local champions to deliver that ed education. 
In our research, we focus our energy and time on building relationships to make sure the research we do is relevant to the ward where we're working. We want to make sure the improvements achieved are sustained long after the project is completed. And our approach is working. The research has been adopted in Sydney, the Illawarra, Taiwan, and next year we take our research to Bega. There is a lot of knowledge about dementia, a lot of research, but it continues to be missed. My team and I wanted to take the challenge on of reversing what's currently happening. We've developed an evidence-based solution to improving delirium care for older people in hospitals. We've added hands-on role-play simulation to our education work that we do. Simulation is common in undergraduate nursing degrees and postgraduate medical education, but it's rarely found in work-based education for nurses in any clinical setting. We've supplemented traditional face-to-face -face and online learning with simulation activities. In our simulation activities, nursing staff volunteer to role-play a person with delirium. The nursing actors role-play a typical scenario from their ward, and the nurses who are participating are enabled to practice delivering best practice delirium care in a simulated situation. The research has been an overwhelming success. The nurses thoroughly enjoy the simulation, and they've told us this is learning in action, not just the theory. While this was very encouraging, we also needed to know whether this simulation was making a difference to clinical practice and patient outcomes. Our research has shown that nurses who participate in the simulation significantly improve in their clinical confidence and competence to deliver delirium care. The nurses who participated also volunteered to have their clinical practice observed. And six weeks later, we found that the nurses are translating their learning from the simulation sessions into the everyday practice for their care of older people. We now have the evidence to clarify the confusion and justify the promotion of our innovative work-based education for nurses to improve delirium detection. During my career, I've generated evidence about the, nurse, the difference nurses make to healthcare and improving the well-being of older people and their families. In all the research that I do, there is a passion that drives me, a belief that nurses hold the knowledge but lack the confidence or the means to put that knowledge into everyday care that they deliver. Nurses need to trust themselves that they have that knowledge, and then we can spend our research efforts concentrated on developing strategies that empower nurses to put that evidence-based practice into their everyday care. And that truly is my big idea. Nurses need to trust themselves that they can deliver evidence-based care, and healthcare providers need to trust nurses with the responsibility to deliver health care and employ more nurses, redirect their resources and employ more nurses. So what's next for our research group? My wee Isla recently said to me, Mummy, not another grant. I'm never short on ideas about how nurses can innovate to improve patient care. So please keep an eye on the progress the ADHERE team make and our continuing positive impact in aged care. There we go. <laughs>